Welcome back to another episode of uh, Life on Two Wheels. And in this episode, I'm going to explore the kind of difficult relationship that I have with travel. I'm a, uh, I'm a Gemini, and that means I'm kind of, more or less, always of two minds. So, uh, I told Stephanie Yu when I was interviewing her that I wasn't a traveler. And... Well, I don't like travel. My, my, my wife <laughs> loves so to travel. That's so nuts for you to say that, though. No. And I'm not a traveler. But that doesn't mean I don't travel. It's just that I don't willingly set myself up for travel. What, what is it that encouraged me to uh, travel to the extent that I have solo on my Vespa, that, that crazy thing? I think it was reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's one of the most amazing, most liberating things that I've read. So that's, in a nutshell, I guess, uh, how I feel about travel. You might read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy if you're a couch potato like me, if you're a homebody. You might think, oh man, you know, why wouldn't I travel? Why wouldn't I become more adventurous? Why wouldn't I become an explorer? I travel because, anyway, it's complicated. So I ended up traveling because, you know, it's, it's either the fault of the past me or it's the fault of my loving wife. So my loving wife is a traveler, and so when she wants to travel, I travel with her. I mean, that's the least that a... Uh, you know, a decent, a good guy husband can do. Uh, the past me, on the other hand, is a little bit of a different equation. The past me is the guy six months ago, a year ago, three weeks ago, who came across the idea that, uh, hey, it would be cool to uh, go to XYZ and do ABC. <clears throat> and um, because that guy is not in the thick of it, you know, he, he does, he's not overcome by the uh, desire not to travel. So the past me tends to make commitments for the future me, and then the present me is stuck um, essentially executing on the past me's foolish uh, desires to, to do stuff that um, the present me is just not interested in. So it's in that way that uh, Susan and I uh, ended up in Greece. <clears throat> More specifically, we went to uh, Athens and some of the islands, Mykonos, Paros. We were supposed to go to uh, Santorini. Santorini didn't work out. Uh, we got hit with uh, storms, unaccountable storms on uh, Paros that, uh, you know, basically uh, kept all the ferries in port and all the planes out of the sky. And the seas didn't look that rough, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, it was enough to kind of put the kibosh on what we were doing. So. You know, I'm not really a traveler, and when I get to the place that we're going, sometimes I get up in the morning and I think, what was, what was the point? When I was in Greece, I got up like three, four, five mornings in a row, thinking, why am I doing here? What's the point? I could have read about this in a book. But then a funny thing happened. In the afternoon, nine times out of ten, there were the most amazing experiences I had. And then I think to myself, a big stupid smile on my face, and I think to myself, Wow, that was amazing, you know. Uh, we met uh, Errol and Lisa from Calgary on this trip, and we rented a car together. We had all types of adventures. We had so much fun that Errol and I kidded about, um, you know, inventing a new religion uh, to express the joy and the amazement that we had at some of the adventures, you know, that we, uh, we enjoyed together, which is the subject of the blog post that's linked in the show notes. Go read that because it's kind of like my humorous take on what was so great about our trip to Greece. So, you know, I'm not really a traveler and I'm certainly not an adventurer. But that doesn't mean I don't know adventurers and it doesn't mean that I don't really admire adventurers. You know, there are adventurers that I know personally. I've met them. I've interviewed a few. Uh, whether it's uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Yu, or uh, uh, Steph G Jevons, or Jevons, I'm not sure how she pronounces her name. Um, there's Lois Price, who's amazing. I mean, you know, uh, Lois and Steph uh, Jevons have gone around the world. They, they, they've rode, ridden solo uh, through Africa and South America and I Iran, the Middle East, Pakistan, India. I mean, Wow, solo, right? I am not of that ilk. Uh, you know, there, there are guys who are amazing adventurers, guys I know, guys I've interviewed, you know, whether it's 
Ken Wilson or Bill Luthold or, or, or Jim Mandel. I mean, amazing, amazing individuals. Uh, um, Michael Strauss, Michael Strauss, who went from, from uh, you know, the tip of South Africa uh, up all the way through, up through Israel, over to uh, Sicily, Italy, Provence. Uh, anyway, I'm not one of those guys. If you want to find out more about those guys and those girls, uh, all the links are in the show notes below. So check out the links. Another couple uh, in Peru currently, the Notiers, Tim Notier, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, and, and Marissa. I mean, they are riding two up. They're down in uh, Peru. They left, uh, you know, the Midwest. They went on this great uh, tour through, uh, uh, through the Western states and uh, decided they could do it, and they're down in Peru. I'm not one of those people. Check out, check out the show notes, and you'll see links to uh, all their websites. I mean, it's amazing, amazing reading. But if you're middling in between, so like you're a traveler, you know, you're into motorbikes, uh, but you're not a flat out adventurer, so you're not prepared to go solo, you know, across uh, Iran, through Pakistan, down to India, uh, but you want something, you know, to uh, kind of uh, get your creative traveler juices going. Uh, there are outfits like uh, Trago in the UK that uh, made available um, uh, a route map for uh, motorcycle rides in the UK. And uh, you'll see that that's linked in the uh, show notes below, and it's also uh, linked on the blog. One of the things that motivates me to travel uh, when I travel solo is meeting my heroes. And when I meet my heroes, I get to interview them uh, often. I, I make videos and I, I post uh, my interviews and the videos and so on on the blog. You, you can find uh, my heroes in the rider profiles on, on the website. There's a link to that below as well. Go check it out. Um, I mean, these are amazing people. The payoff if you decide to travel, and I've made a list, a list of, uh, I've made a list of the payoffs uh, that I see. Uh, serendipity, surprises, and for instance, a surprise, like when we were on top of the Acropolis and there was this crowd of people standing in an oval, chanting very ominously. I mean, that was a mystery, a surprise, and a serendipitous event all kind of rolled into one in an amazing place. You discover stuff, you, you discover that uh, un, you know, little restaurants, chef-owned restaurants on little isolated beaches in a place like Paros serving food that quite honestly was, you know, beyond belief. We had uh, amazing adventures in Greece. We, you know, tore the hell out of a tire on our rental car and, you know, that could have cost a bomb. But we got really, really lucky. There was kind of like a, a miracle of the parasites when we found uh, a, a very fine uh, mechanic who went back to his shop after hours and uh, installed brand new rubber on our Fiat Panda and saved our asses uh, for the modest price of uh, 25 or 30 euros. I mean, unaccountably amazing. I left my wallet in a winery and to return the next day, found the wallet completely intact, everything there. These are minor miracles, you know, that, that led to the creation of what uh, I'm calling the religion of the parasites. I would never have had that experience if I hadn't, uh, you know, allowed Susan to drag me along on a, uh, on a Greek adventure. So there you have it, my mixed up, screwed up relationship with travel and, you know, the unaccountable things that end up happening to me in my life. Don't forget to, uh, if you enjoyed this little video, if I made you laugh, I made you chuckle, if I sparked an idea, if I prompted you to uh, check out uh, my hero's uh, blogs and to get out there and become an explorer yourself, then I've accomplished what I set out to do. So that's it for this episode of uh, Life on Two Wheels. By all means, go to the blog and uh, check out my post on, uh, on the new religion for parasites. You know, you might get a chuckle out of it, you might find it funny, and if you do, you're welcome. Don't forget to like this video, click to subscribe if you did enjoy it, and visit the blog where you'll not only find, you know, the new religion of parasites, you'll also find the touring guide, the gear guide, and so much more. See you next time on Life on Two Wheels.